Oh my gosh, not again. Whenever I would go out to places, there's probably a 90% chance that that thought would be running through my mind at least twice. Why? Well, let's just say the people I have to interact with will often talk to me in some language foreign to me. Hi, I'm Amalina, and here's a little backstory. My mom is from Japan, while my dad is Malay. But as you can probably tell, I look more like my mom. And because of that, many people have mistaken me for a Chinese person, though I don't blame them. I didn't really mind them mistaking me for Chinese because I honestly found it really funny seeing their surprise faces when I told them that I wasn't Chinese, but in fact, half Malay and half Japanese. However, after a while, it gets really, really exhausting having to repeat the phrase, oh sorry, I don't understand Chinese, and having to explain to people multiple times a day. I mean, wouldn't you be annoyed too after a while? I wasn't quite bothered with any of the race stuff until I was in P6 after I received my PSLE results. I was happy to say the least. I barely touched the textbook outside school and I still managed to score really well. Then when I got into an IP school, that's the only thing my father would talk about to my relatives, emphasizing on the fact that it was a JC. Ever since then, I've been told by countless people, including my very own father, that I was different. And that really stuck to me. What were they trying to imply? Is that something to be proud of or ashamed of? To this day, I still never really knew how to feel whenever someone would say that to me. But what I do know is that no matter how many times I heard this, I will still feel uncomfortable. I'm sure many of us here are probably guilty of assuming something based on one's race. And I'll let you in on a not so secret secret. I myself am, am guilty of doing this. But because of that, many of us have gotten used to it and think that, that it is okay to make these assumptions. And let's face it, that is not a good thing. Growing up, I've learned to just ignore these comments or to just work hard to prove them wrong. But I've soon grown to realize that. Why must there be racial stereotypes to ignore in the first place? Making these stereotypes can really affect someone mentally without you even knowing it. Personally, having to deal with this, constantly having to live with the stress of trying to prove them wrong, wondering what people are assuming about me, have really taken a toll on me mentally. It has made me exhausted and even more stressed. But these experiences really made me think and really made me question my identity. I began to feel self-conscious, thinking that I didn't belong here because I looked different and I didn't fit into either racial categories neatly. I didn't feel like I belonged. I started to reject my Malay identity with the excuse of, I don't look like other Malays anyway, so why bother? I began to feel so insecure about my looks and tried finding so many ways to change my appearance. I even tried to think of ways to make my skin lighter in order to fit these Chinese stereotypes hoping that they'll somehow make my life easier. However, regardless of how I dress and how much effort I put in, it just made me feel more tired and isolated, but it still didn't feel like it changed the way others reacted to me. However, in the past few years, I found out that my sister has also encountered similar problems and we started talking and joking about it. I was glad I finally found someone that I could understand that could understand the pain and my complaints. Over time, I found other ways to cope, such as joking about my encounters with my friends in school, who have often laughed with me and continued to joke with me too. Each time they laughed, I learned not to take these things too seriously and I've since learned that I should just laugh as a coping mechanism. Looking back, it is really something to laugh at because despite these issues, I've met many people throughout my life who have helped me accept my identity. These people have done things that they probably don't see as significant. They don't mention anything about my looks or how I don't look Malay. My friends have even helped me translate things whenever someone would say something to me in Chinese. This made me really appreciate them more as they made me feel more comfortable and appreciated by bothering to care about my feelings and helping me feel included. Thanks to these people, I've learned that not all people are the same and that there are people who are open and accepting and these racial stereotypes don't have the power or control over my life. But sadly, there are still countless people who have similar mindset as me a few years ago. And because of these stereotypes, all because of these stereotypes that have been embedded in our minds, 
these stereotypes have cost these stereotypes have cost me include these stereotypes has caused many, including myself, to suffer from low self-esteem and feeling like they don't belong just because they don't fit into a certain criteria. Some of them are also not as lucky as I am and have to often suffer alone in silence. It's hard to admit that we are the problem, even after realizing that some of us are the reason why these stereotypes have become the norm. Although I still don't have the solutions, and I often still encounter these inconveniences and discomfort. I feel that it is important for all of us to work together and overcome these stereotypes. This is why I'm here today making this TED Talk, even if it is a difficult topic that people feel could be sensitive to discuss. I hope that more people can understand how uncomfortable it is for people like me and help us feel more welcome and that we belong, slowly but surely.